morning everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming a little exam study day in my life i'm in the thick of exam season right now and i'm going to head to the library in a minute it's currently i think it's like eight o'clock so i'm going to try and get there for 9 30 nine something like that i have to do a timed assignment today i started it yesterday i managed to do section a and b so i just got section c to do and i'm going to check through it and hopefully it'll be okay and i've still got a few days left so that's good but yeah i just thought it'd be fun to do a little study with me and take you to the library and show you what it's like when you have a million things to do and only so much time to do it which i'm sure everyone knows what that's like so far i've already done two presentations an essay an assignment and now i've got this timed assignment and another exam on the first of june which i need to revise for once i've done this so yeah i just figured i haven't done a video in a while and it'd be nice to take you along so yeah i'm just going to grab some breakfast and then i will head up to campus God, my mirror is so dirty so you can like barely even see my outfit <laughs> but i've just got a really comfy outfit on to go to the library i've got a little black t-shirt on this is from asos and then these are just some flared leggings which are from hollister uh, you can't really see though because my plant as well so this isn't going very well but <laughs> anyway i've just had my breakfast and i'm gonna head up to the library now with my friend katie and then yeah go and do some work and hopefully have a productive day i'm also meeting my friend at 12 for a coffee which would be really nice to like have a break you know it's really important to take breaks when you're studying. I guess let's go to the library. Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? Ooh, dry your eyes. The world can always give you reasons to cry. Well, understand. Stronger than you know, there's power in your bones. The flowers that you've grown are water by your tears. You say you're growing old, one day you're gonna fold. Amazing how you go unbothered through the years. But if you just let go and fall into the garden that you grew, you would finally know that you don't have to be somebody new. Okay, so I've been back from the library for a little while. I've just had dinner. I think I was in the library for like seven hours and I decided it was time to come home. But I managed to finish the sort of rough draft of the assignment. So that's all good. I'm hoping to just check through everything tomorrow, improve anything and then submit it, which is so nice. But yeah, so I've just been relaxing since I got home, spent some time with my friends, made some dinner, been watching some Netflix. And I just think it's so important to have time to relax when you are in the peak of exam season because otherwise you're just not going to get through. <laughs> It's so needed. So yeah, that's been really nice. But yeah, I was actually really kindly sent some products from OcuShield. I think that's how you say the company. So they sent me their blue light blocking or anti-blue light screen protector. This is for my phone. And then also their blue light blocking glasses. I believe they were on Dragon's Den actually, which is really cool. But I really like the packaging. I think it's so nice. And if you don't really know about what blue light is, it's basically what kind of comes out of your devices. So like your phone, your laptop, etc. It can really badly affect your sleep and your like productivity so these products have been designed to protect your eyes from the blue light and allow you to actually get a good night's sleep and focus more and have healthier eyes in general and i believe they're the first medically rated blue light blocking glasses which is really cool so i'm gonna wait to put this on my phone because i'm so bad at putting screen protectors on and as easy as i'm sure it is i just don't trust myself so i'm gonna let my mum do that for me these are the glasses they come in a really nice little box i don't know it's just really like sleek and smooth but yeah so here are the glasses i got the round tortoise shell ones and this is what they look like I feel like the light from my desk lamp is just gonna like reflect off them but yeah that's what they look like i think they're really cool and yeah i'm just really looking forward to using these when i'm in bed and i scroll on my phone so much before i go to sleep so it's we so good to protect my eyes and help me sleep because i do struggle with my sleep a lot but yeah they just feel like really good quality i think they look really nice they feel really nice so yeah thank you so much to ocushield for sending me those products but anyway yeah i think i'm just going to get into bed chill maybe read watch some netflix i love my evenings like i don't really do much 
in the evenings. I try my best to do all my work in the day and then have the evenings off. I just think it's so needed. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let myself chill. I feel like the reason I'm not too stressed this exam season is because I like got quite ahead with my deadlines and it's made such a difference, like spreading them out. My biggest tip to you if you're coming to university next year is spread out your deadlines. Like I had three or four that were all due around the same time, but I just got them done like a few weeks in advance, spread them out and it just makes it so much less stressful. Like you can get through exam season and not be too stressed if you stay on top of your deadlines. I did not do this in first year. Let's just say I recommend doing it because I would have saved myself a lot of stress rather than trying to get them all done within the space of a week. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go and chill now and just relax and then I will see you tomorrow for another day of studying on a Sunday in the library. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I decided not to set an alarm so that I would be able to sleep in because it is a Sunday morning but I just didn't sleep in. Either way I'm still gonna get up and head to the library get some work done hopefully. I'm feeling really tired. I don't really want to put my contact lenses in. I might just wear my glasses but that's kind of annoying. I do feel really tired so I hope I can still get some work done. But anyway yeah I'm literally just gonna go do my skincare now, get dressed, have some breakfast and head up to the library again. <laughs> for like, I don't know, like the fifth day in a row. <laughs> okay, to be fair though, in a weird way, I do kind of love like the library and everything. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously I don't love having so much work and like revision to do, but there's something so nice about being in an environment where everyone's just working, focused and like, I don't know, I like feeling like productive and getting stuff done and then having little study breaks with my friends, going for coffee, just going for a walk around campus. I just think it's nice to find the little things that you like. Am I happy now? Am I happy now? So sunny today and I'm feeling very summery so I decided to put on some shorts and a little t-shirt so these are just some I don't really know if you can see I think they're like paper bag shorts I think that's what they're called these are from Hollister I got these a few I don't even remember when but like quite a few years ago I think and then this top from ASOS and then just some jewelry but yeah I have decided to keep my glasses on for the library because my eyes are really tired since I didn't get much sleep last night so I know I'll be more productive if I don't have my contacts in because that'll just make me feel even more tired I'm gonna grab some breakfast now I'm really hungry I'm so glad it's nice weather this morning because the other day I walked to the library in the rain which was not fun <laughs> but it's so nice and summery so hopefully I won't be cold in my shorts Different heights, but it's the same Okay, I've just had breakfast and I'm all ready to head to the library. So my goal for today is to finish off my timed assignment, check through everything, improve everything, and then hopefully submit it. And then I'm hoping to start on some Spanish revision as well later, like in the afternoon maybe, because I have just over a week until my Spanish exam. So I definitely need to start some revision because I haven't been able to start that yet because of all my other assignments. So yeah, that's the plan for today. And I'm gonna head up to the library now. <laughs> In a lot of ways, she's not near I know why, but it's keeping me awake We should Okay, so I just got back from the library. I was there for about five hours, but I decided to come home because I didn't bring any food for lunch and I'm hungry. And also because I managed to submit my assignment. I'm so happy. I'm so glad that that's out of the way and all done. So then after that, I just did a little bit of like planning for my Spanish revision, working out what I want to revise, when I want to revise it and all that kind of stuff. So I just feel a bit more like on top of everything now. So yeah, I decided to come home because I've been quite productive today. And I think I'm gonna give myself the afternoon off because I know I've got like 10 days of very intense revision so I feel like I need to give myself a little rest before all of that so I can recharge and be ready to hit all the revision that's coming so yeah I think I'm just gonna grab some lunch and then chill for the rest of the day I might just like
read outside or something. It's such a nice day and the sun is just so nice. So yeah, I think I'm just going to relax and grab some food now. Jefferson, my scars are 